Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. Not a tutorial today, today I'm here with the Dell XPS 13 2020. I got this laptop a few days ago from a friend of mine who bought it and was kind enough to borrow it for a review. When I opened up the laptop, Ubuntu 18.04 was installed. I did the installation, everything went well, I created also the recovery image and then I wiped it out and installed Arch Linux. Arch Linux works really well here, I installed it first with KDE. Then I had a little problem with the trackpad because I had to configure the synaptic trackpad with specific options but then I installed GNOME and on GNOME it worked out of the box. I tried it also with Manjaro but I couldn't boot Manjaro on this laptop in any way. I tried several things, it has to do definitely with the video driver or the processor, I'm not sure. I couldn't figure out yet what the problem is. I will keep troubleshooting and I will let you know if I come up with something. Until now I have to say I'm really happy with this laptop. It weights 1.2 kilograms and at its thickest point is 1.5 centimeters. So to travel around is really a great laptop. The display, it's really nice, it's a 13 inch display, full HD plus resolution, 1920 per 1200. It's anti-glare and it's a touch display and it's really nice to work with. It's very bright, it reaches 500 nits of brightness and when you work on it, it's really a pleasure. The colors are really bright as well and it's a really pleasure to watch pictures on this laptop. The keyboard is also very good to type on, it's not too shallow and the trackpad is made of glass and it's really smooth and precise to work with. This particular model has a 10th generation Intel i7 processor with 16GB of RAM and 1TB SSD and the graphic card is an Intel Iris Plus graphic card. The construction is made with carbon materials on the inside, it's very soft to the touch and it's very very nice to work on and the exterior is made of aluminum. It does not have too many ports this laptop, it has only two ports. We have a Thunderbolt 3 port here on the right side and another one here on the left side together with a micro SD slot. Because of these ports, Dell puts in the box a USB adapter. This is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. I think it's a nice touch for Dell to put it in the box. If you have many USB keys at home and you need to play with them, it's good to have an adapter out of the box. The power adapter is also very small and very compact. You can put it in a bag, you will not feel it's there and it's a great thing when you travel. The unboxing experience was also really nice. The box is really elegant. It has this latch here which is magnetic, you can lift it up and when you open it up the laptop is presented very elegantly. So the only thing we actually which popped to my eye when I opened up the laptop for the first time is that it has actually a Windows key. It's not a big deal, but it's very strange that you buy a Linux laptop and it has a Windows key on it. So I don't know why they didn't decide to change actually just the Windows key to something else, but that's there, it's a minor thing, but I just wanted to tell you that. Until now I have to say I'm really impressed with the Dell XPS 13. It has a great display with these narrow bezels, the experience is really immersive. It has a great keyboard, a fast processor, an excellent trackpad and a good construction. So if you are interested to see a full review of this laptop, let me know in the comments below and I will do that in a couple of weeks. But for now, thank you for watching the video guys, I hope you liked it, if you did please hit the like button below and sub to the channel if you haven't already, subs always helps us out. And if you want to support the channel you can do so by visiting our Patreon website or you can donate via PayPal through our website as well. Thank you so much for watching the video guys and I'll see you soon in the next one.